showcase my mad cybersecurity skills, compile it into a portfolio, and present it in my resume in a way that's gonna make hiring managers go, this guy's amazing. Just like this. So there's a little more to it than that. And that's pretty much it. This is a full guide on how to showcase your portfolio in your resume. Ooh, yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. So head on down to GitHub and more specifically, check out their GitHub pages. If you don't already have an account, you're gonna want to create an account, sign up, use any email you want. Once you're signed up, you're gonna wanna create your first public repository or repo for short. Um, you're gonna wanna name it just like they say in the, and the instructions. So madhat is taken.github.io. That already exists because I created one already, but this is what your format should look like. That's all you have to put in here. You click create repository and it will create your repository. You're gonna be able to then go into your repo on the right here or wherever else you wanna click. Uh, you just click your icon there, you go to your repositories. You'll see here, it's now public in my absolute mad cybersecurity project portfolio as a description. You just click into it you can now add files to it. So let's re-expand this bad boy. And from here, you just wanna add a file, create a new file. So this will be index.html. So you just need an HTML file for your repo to load the web page off of. So you just wanna create this index file, index.html, copy pasta this over, control C, control V, make sure you name it, index.html, naming is very important. And if you hit commit changes, you're gonna create the index HTML file within your mataistaken.github.io repository. That's gonna take a little bit for it to load, <laughs> load as in for, <laughs> for your site to actually get that change. It shouldn't take too long, a couple minutes maybe. And you can either just directly go to the URL or just click the visit site here. Um, the 404 page will disappear eventually. You, just, you can just hit refresh over and over, go make a sandwich, come back, and there you go. This is what you're going to see after you refresh it a bunch of times. Hello world. Super basic. But we can't leave it like this. We'll get made fun of and I can't let that happen again. We have to make it look more professional with a theme. How do we do that, you ask? Well, luckily, GitHub has retired recently the super stupid easy way of doing this. But if you look down here under pages or settings pages, you'll see here you can add a theme to your site via Jekyll, which I don't have a ton of experience with Jekyll, but you click into there. It'll give you a little tutorial on how to do it. The tutorial isn't very straightforward because it's giving you all these different options that you can do. Customize your theme, CS, customize, customize, customize. We don't want to customize anything yet. We just want a template. What you can do is go to supported themes and they provide a nice list here of the supported template themes that you can get. Now, there is an obvious choice here. I'll give you a minute to spot it. Midnight, you fools. We live in the shadows, working in the darkness with the blinds shut, blackout curtains drawn with just the glow of our screens and RGB peripherals. We gently caress our pupils. I live in the shadows. All right, so once you pick your theme, click into the theme. It tells you how to install this. When adding this file to my repo, the index.html file that we just loaded, you have to remove that. It's just gonna load your site based off of that. So what you wanna do is go over here to their config, underscore config.yaml file. And you can basically just copy paste this. You can download this over here, download the file. So let's just do that. Click download. And then if we go to back to our repo over here, again, we don't want, we don't want this too basic. What we're gonna wanna do is delete the index.html file, or you could customize that if you're a badass, but I'm not. You have to commit every delete every change, everything. So don't forget to commit something. If you type it up and you, you leave the screen, you're gonna have to redo it. So again, clean slate. If we now want to upload the YAML file that we just downloaded, you should be able to see it right there. Underscore config.yaml, hit commit changes. So now in theory, this should load the template, but we're missing one crucial thing. You'll notice that to add the theme, right? You just need to do this. Additionally, you can add this gem page, which we'll do. It's right here, this gem file. It just has a few, a few additional lines of code. So let's download that as well. Go back to our repo. Mm -hmm. We're going to upload the gem file. Again, clickety click file. There it is, gem file right above my head. Hit commit changes. That's in place now. You'll notice if I go here now, this is a 404 because again, we don't have that HTML file that we so desperately need for our website to load. And without it, it won't load shit. 
we go back to the the hacker theme instructions here that's all it tells you to do so you're like well it's just loading the the initial html hello world page what the fuck? well i'll tell you what the fuck. you have to load another index file and in this case you can just upload the existing index page that they have so if we go over here we download the index.md file go to upload files choose your file and upload the index.md file Commit changes, thinking it's gonna load, and boom, just like that. Boom goes the dynamite. Index.md, config.yaml, gemfile.txt. This is all you should need to now load your website. Again, this will take a hot minute. Make another sandwich if you want. There you go. Check it out. Look at that. And you'll notice that I already edited mine. I already tweaked the title. Mad Hat's portfolio of cybersecurity projects. Wow, look at this, it's amazing. I just linked this in my resume and I'm gonna get all the attention in the world, right? So you can put in links and you'll notice that the template that they give you gives you really good examples of how to lay out your webpage. You got headers, you got splitting in sections with dashed lines, you got images, and you're probably wondering, how do I edit this? Because this is not stuff that's pertinent to me. Well, you just go in to the index.md file and you edit it. You just wanna click this edit this file button and you'll get into the actual meat of the index file. And this is a great place. I know there's tons of websites you can go to that will hold your hand, but understanding how HTML works, how websites load is important. This is stuff that you need to know, especially for like cross-site scripting, web application vulnerabilities, and more specifically how to secure them and how to look for things that need patching, look for things that need fixing. And you'll see if you go to the actual page, I don't know if you've ever done this before, you right click the web page. you can do this on any web page. you right click and go to inspect at the very bottom, it's gonna load the inspect page. And this is everything that is loading. You got a container, you got a body, you got a head. And if you click into the head, you can see all these properties. Site name, type, header, header two. You see this right here? To showcase my mad skills to my future employer. Well, if you go back to the actual index page itself, that gets loaded because this template knows to pull from the configuration file. I added the description right there. So there you go, title in the configuration file in the description here. You can edit in this file or you can edit in this file. Links here are literally just, it's just a link. You'll notice towards the bottom, the images, the file paths of them are github, githubassets.com and then slash where they're at. So if we wanted to change these, we gotta upload the image that we want into our repo. So if we go to our repo here, we want to add a file. We're gonna upload a picture, so upload, Use your file. I'm going to drag it over. There's the image, blackhatsecurity.jpg. Yeah, right above my head. Commit the changes. So you'll notice here that now it lives within our GitHub repo. We want to copy the path, go back to where this is, and paste the path in. Commit changes. Make sure you save your changes, right? And then from there, this should, in theory, if all the hamsters behind the scenes are working, this branching that's what this is labeled over here. Notice here, the image itself is called branching. So we could change that to make a difference. Refresh a few times, this should, yeah, there you go. As long as you upload the image to your repository or somewhere that GitHub can have access to, copy the file path from GitHub into your index.md file, you can load the images. So if you've got screenshots of your projects, put them in, put in descriptions, and yeah, just familiarize yourself with HTML because when you're editing this, you'll notice there's specific ways of doing things. They're specifying headers. So if you go back to the web page, you'll see header one, header two, header three. Header in this instance is gonna be a, what is that, a number? <laughs> number signs. So if I, for example, to show you that that's what that does, if we do one, uh, one number sign at hacks. Yeah, that sounds better, mad head hacks. Commit the change. And in theory, because everything is in theory these days, it doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. I learned that the hard way. Hit refresh, we'll make another sandwich, grab a drink, maybe two. And you can also confirm, I guess, from here. So you don't even necessarily have to reload your site. So as long as you see it in here, it will eventually get to your, your website. So as you can see, it's that one number sign gives us the first header, the two number signs and so forth and onwards and to victory we go to the new and the immortal words of one of the comments. We're getting out of Pop's house with this one. <laughs> and yeah, this is clean. I like this. It's nice on the eyes. I like green. I don't know if you can tell, but I like 
I like green. But yeah, you just edit it the way you want. You can embed videos in here, probably images, and just format it. And then link your github.io in your resume. Explain, so you have your portfolio, you have your projects section, just briefly describe what you did and you could just have a link at the end of it to your project page. So you can split this out into various pages and each page can have its own dedicated blog of what you did and breaking it down each step, screenshots, images, videos, what have you. And that is putting your best foot forward when you're applying to jobs because it's not only showing that you have done technical things before, you understand how they work, but you also are willing to put forth the effort to document it. Because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's outdated documentation. When I'm following like these GitHub pages, for example, or the theme instructions and something is missing, it's like, why isn't this working? I gotta Google shit now to figure out why this isn't working, which is a good skill set to have to be able to understand when something's not working, where you can go to fix it. Documentation is gonna be a huge part of your security analyst, security engineer, what have you, AppSec, pen testing, it's a massive portion of what you do in your day-to-day -day work. So might as well get started now. And yeah, hopefully that clears up some confusion on how to present your fancy cybersecurity projects on your resume. And you don't have to use GitHub, everyone does, but you don't have to. You could use WordPress if you hate yourself, which would give you the opportunity to practice investigations once it gets hacked. Or you could make an awkward video like this one, going over how you did everything on the project and link the video or YouTube channel, or if you have multiple projects. The world is your oyster, which is an idiom that is meaning to say, if you put in the work at something difficult, there's a reward waiting for you. Bye.